Hello, my name is Susan Cloonan and today I'm going to show you how to add a simple border and watermark to an image in Photoshop. Before we begin, you should open up the image you want to work on in Photoshop. Let's take a minute to run through some of the tools we will use in this lesson. When you're ready, click the next button. To the top of your screen is the menu bar. At the left is the toolbar. Depending on the tool selected, we will see a selection of various tool options displayed under the menu bar. Now look at the toolbar. You will see the rectangular marquee tool highlighted. You will use this to draw a border around your image. Further down is the text tool which you will use when watermarking your image. Click next to continue. If you can see your image in Photoshop similar to the way this image is displayed, then you're ready to begin working on it. Our first step will be to add the border. Click next to see how this is done. To add the border, we begin by selecting the rectangular marquee tool as shown on the screen. Once you've done so, click the next button. Drag around the outline of the image and release the button. and click on Undo Rectangular Marquee Tool so that you can repeat the process of selecting the image. When you're ready, click Next to continue. Now we'll apply a colour or stroke around the image. Select the Edit option from the menu at the top, then select Stroke as shown on screen. Once you've done this, click Next to find out how to apply the stroke. The Stroke box gives you the option to set the properties of the stroke. The width and the colour are the properties we are going to concentrate on in this lesson. Click Next to continue. Double click on the colour section of the stroke box as shown. This opens up the colour selection window. We can either select a colour from the colour bar or enter a hexadecimal value for the colour in the space beside the hashtag. For the purpose of this lesson we are going to select a black border. The hexadecimal value for black is six zeros. In the width box you can enter the number of pixels you would like the stroke or border to be. The higher the number entered, the thicker the border will be. Enter the number 50 here, then click on OK to accept the entry. Click the next button when you are ready to move on. Press the Ctrl key and the D key together to select your image. You should now see a black border applied to the image as shown on screen. Click Next to proceed to the next step where we'll add a watermark to the image. Select the text button represented by the letter T and click anywhere on screen. Type in the text you want to display. Holding down the right button of your mouse, select the text, then select the text colour box in the top menu as shown on screen. Click Next to continue. The colour of the text is chosen in the same way as the colour for the border was. This time we are going to choose the colour white, which is represented by the hexadecimal value of six letter Fs. Making sure the cursor tool is selected at the top left of the Tools menu, you can click on the text and drag to wherever you want it placed. We can fade the text by selecting the Opacity button to the right of the Photoshop window as shown on screen. Click on the down arrow to drag the slider down to the required opacity level. The text will fade as you drag the slider. Alternatively, you can enter the required value into the input box. All that's left is to save your image. Save under a new name in case you need to edit the original image in the future. in case you need to edit the original image in the future. In the next lesson we will cover how to use layers to add strokes and text.